Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 22 in chapter 3. In this one, this problem is a little bit difficult. And then we can work on it together. And see how we can solve the acceleration and the velocity in the vector form. So it tells us we have a person, right? And he is just accelerating down to a 30 degree hill at the initial, at the acceleration. 1.8 meter per second square. Uh, ask you what is the vertical component of the acceleration. And there, I suggest you draw a picture to solve this problem. So we can say there is the person, and then he's on this slope. When we solve the problem, we want to find the vertical component. So that means we need to project the acceleration in the vertical component and the horizontal component. So we draw the Reference point is there, and then the acceleration is uh, pointing to the this slope. And then we can say when we want to project this vector in x component and a y component, we need to project it. So we can draw another line. We can say this line is parallel with this line, and this line is parallel with this line. So this angle is theta. Do you agree? 30 degree. This angle must equal to this angle because this one is parallel to this one this line is parallel to this line and then we can see in these triangles this is theta this angle must be theta agree? yes and we can see this is acceleration 1.8 and we projected it at x direction and y direction and y direction we projected it there so y direction is this one so this is a sine theta See? So at the y component, it's a sine theta. So we write it as a 1.8 times the sine 30 degree. Then we get it. The next question is ask you how long will it take to, how to reach the bottom of the hill? And then we consider the initial velocity is zero. As acceleration is, uh, is uh, just uh, constant, right? Acceleration is uniform. And uh, the if uh, elevation changes is uh, 325 meter. So in this problem, we can consider this is as a uh, uh, reference point, right? So we can consider there, what we can consider? This is the reference point, the y is zero. And then there we can consider the positive direction pointing down. So at zero, the y is uh, how much? Three to five meter. Agree? And we know initial velocity is zero, and we know the acceleration in y component is there. Is get. So very easily we can use this equation to find it. The final position at zero, initial position is zero. And then the initial velocity at the y component is zero, and input the acceleration at the y component. Then we solve the time t. We get it. Thank you.